Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. And thank you for being here. Thank you for the constant support. Even though my videos are not consistent, when I, whenever I post my little shorts, you show up, you support my channel, you watch my videos, you like, you comment. Thank you for that. So with that said, we're going to get into the cloth and paper quarterly SD, SD box. I'm going to get it right. Am I saying it right? Let me know. So I don't know if I skipped a month, but I think I did. And the reason why I may not want every single month is because the accumulation of stuff. So I'm going to open this first. This is, you see how it's like vacuum sealed? So I'm sure it's a blanket and it's just in time. You hear that? Just in time for the fall and winter. And you can tell it's like a light tan color. Ooh, it's very nice. I would love this in a blush or white. And it's stretchy. This thing is huge. Look. <laughs> so it's very, very big and it's super comfy. I'm going to put it in my living room because it goes with the decor more in that room. And then we have the box. So this is the box obviously you know it comes in a box and we're going to go through each item like i did the last time so the subscription box is quarterly so you know what that means if you don't know google it and i think it's 199 every quarter so the first thing i have here is a scented candle it's soy blend um it's basilica notes of vanilla warm spices and aged oat to create an atmosphere of grandeur and quietness. Ooh, I like. It's given walking into a luxury store. So I should have taken out the little pamphlet because it kind of tells you a little bit more about where these items are from, the brands, and if, you, so you can, you know, res research and look them up for yourself so the candle is by cloth and paper hmm. okay come through cloth and paper i like it it's given diptyque i love it and i love candles that have the wick that's like the the wooden wick so it has that pop in that pop in sound so so far so good i like that next thing up is this marvelous cbd extra rich body cream from ellis brooklyn so this seems like a very big jar so ellis brooklyn body cream um, estimated retail is 125 dollars and this, this marvelous around aromatic soothing and moisturizing body cream features a powerful skin soothing duo full spectrum cbd and french maritime pine bark extract so let's see Ooh, yes glass i'm starting to only want my skincare in glass because i found out that skincare anything you put on your skin moisturizers makeup they're not good if it's in plastic because the chemical breakdowns of the plastic can get into the product and stuff like that so this is it and i'm gonna smell it for you true reaction oh it's so thick mm. i love that smell i absolutely love this smell it kind of it kind of reminds me of the brown girl jane perfume that i like i love that i think when i wear this body lotion this body cream, I'm going to wear it with the Brown Girl Jane perfume that I have. The next thing is this bubble bath. I don't really do bubble baths, baths but maybe I can use it for something else. Okay, so first of all, 
I'm not opening this. This, this is decoration because this is super cute. <sighs> okay, so this is Library of Flowers, American Small Batch, Perfumery, True Vanilla Bubble Bath, and this is estimated retail cost is $44. And it's from Margaret Elena. Listen, I'm not opening this. This is going to be decoration. I know it's bubble bath and I'm supposed to use it to bathe with. But when things are packaged nicely and they have this really nice look, I want to keep it, use it for whatever I want to use it for. I don't care that it's bubble bath. This is decoration for me. And see, I don't even use bubble bath. So it's a win-win. The next item is milk and cookie bar. So this milk and cookie bar is um, the milk is from Norman Love Confections. So this is a milk and cookie bar. Best before December second, twenty twenty two. Two hundred and thirty calories for one cookie. I'm not gonna eat it now, but it's a milk and a cookie bar. I'm gonna save it for later when Lonnie gets from cheer practice. She should be home any minute now. But the first thing I forgot to share, which my fault, the throw is from Sunday Citizen. Um, it's a cozy blanket, mm, estimated retail $98. So cozy citizen for the throw blanket. And I'm going on their website as soon as I'm done to see if they have it in another color because the texture is amazing. It's it feels like it can give you that warmth that you need in New York when the temperatures start to act like they don't have any sense. So the next item is the cozy teacup. Teacup. Okay, so I know I saw some tea the other day when I first opened the box, so I have to find it. So this is from Leku. I don't know if I said it right, but this is the box this is how it comes i got a coupon and it comes with two glass teacup oh my goodness look this is so cute and here i go think here i am thinking again oh i wonder if they have it in another color i love the concept and i love how the design looks snoopy snoopy come here good yeah, boy daddy's using the drill you don't like the drill come on come on good boy so I'm gonna see if they have it in another color, but I think the brand, I don't know if it's pronounced Leku, but it's Leku teacup set of two, estimated retail $22. It's a stackable cup. So for space-wise and store and purposes, you can do like that. But the minute I opened it, it was given cozy fall day in my blanket looking out the window while it's windy and the leaves are falling and I'm just sipping my tea. So while we are on tea, I'm gonna show you the little tea drops. So this is tea drops tea, estimated retail $16. The tea drops are bag bagless whole tea, whole leaf teas that shed about 15% less waste than traditional tea bags. So, hmm. I love the little box. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to use this box in a DIY crafty thing. You know, we don't throw things out that can be repurposed. So in the box there are these little tea drops. So I don't know how to make it, but you add a tea drop into the, in your cup, pour boiling water, stir and enjoy. Hmm. I wonder if it has like, any of those little you know like the i forgot jamaicans will call it like trash anything that dissolves and it leaves any particles we call it trash but this one is a hello kitty strawberry matcha green tea and then there is another hello kitty english tea there's another matcha green tea and then there's the owl pineapple chamomile and there's a rose earl gray and a citrus ginger sweet peppermint and I don't know if these are caffeine free hibiscus glow 
I don't know what this little thing is, but this is, a, oh, it's a tea drop. So I guess if for, sorry, I guess if you want a smaller cup of tea, but this is super cute. I love how it's stored. And then the last thing is this little match stick. So the match stick, It's for the candle. It's for the candle. Listen, I'm gonna be so fancy lighting my candle with my matchstick. Look, I'm gonna light slow motion and lighting my candle. How nice is that? Okay, so put it in, putting it away. All right, so that's the cloth and paper sub box. I always talk about if it's worth it. I think that it is worth it because I, sh Snoopy, come here. Hey boy, you messed up my video. Come here, come here baby. I shared the, uh, this is my first time going in through, through this whole thing. So my reaction today is my genuine reaction. I do love all the things to me subscribing to like a box is kind of scary to me not really scary but i don't really like it sometimes because when i get things i like to pick what i want for instance like this gray blanket it's very nice it's lovely and i'm going to see if they have it in a white or pink i wouldn't buy this color so this is why sometimes i'm a little hesitant to subscribe to things but i'm going to use this in my living room i love these cups these are gorgeous but i wish it were another color you see things like that but I will use these. My daughter, she loves anything that's cute and bougie, so we will enjoy that together. And I'm gonna actually make some tea when I'm done and try it out. Oh, and I need to, oh, let me see if it's caffeine free. Because, no, they do have caffeine in it, which is fine, because some caffeine is good for you. So the, um, yes, I do think that it's worth it. I will continue the sub because it's like a nice surprise. You're opening a real box of gifts that you gift yourself and some of these things can actually go for gifts so think about it so anyway the next item up i want to share with you i got a new belt bag it's the every everywhere belt bag from lululemon my daughter's like a lulu fanatic and she got me into lululemon so i got this belt bag and I wore it yesterday for the first time. This is how it looks. It's super cute. The strap is like a very, very light olive. And this fur is not really white. It's like an off-white or cream color. It has a little Lululemon icon here. The back has a zipper. So you can maybe put your cash in the back. And then it has a big opening that is big enough to fit my cell phone, my sanitizer, my keys. It has a mesh here and a mesh here that's divided into two parts. And let me see if you can fit like a small planner in case you planner girls with it. This is a pocket size cloth and paper planner. And I know your planners are super chunky, so it may not fit, but it can fit a pocket size planner. Don't really quote me on it because I, this is how it closes. It's not too bad in the clothes and it's just this, this part of it. So this fits the planner somewhat and you can put some other stuff in it. So those are the things that I got so far. And then I'm gonna share with you my Christian Dior notebooks that I got. So this is a two piece this is two notebooks in one, and I think it was 223. So it comes just like this with this elastic band. It's almost like, um, not enough for like a headband, but you see the width. It's like um, one of those resistant bands. So it's very thick. You can probably put this around your planner or something. So the first notebook, it has the Christian Dior name on it. On the back, it says Dior. This is like a wide rule lined journal. And this is, it's very flat. You can like tuck this in your planner. And the next one is the hard cover 
on the back it says Christian Dior. There's no logo on the front, but if you wanted to store it, it has the, the Dior in like a gold foil and it has the gold edging. The first page is a like a mahogany and then the pages inside are also a wide rule line journal with very faint lines. I like that. So that's the two. And then I'm going to share with you the Valentino notebook and the Versace notebook. I've been like down a notebook rabbit hole lately. So this is the Versace notebook that I got. This is the most recent one. It comes with a strap. It's very thin. I'm not sure how many pages. I already tossed the, the things out. But it's hard cover. Inside is pink. And the pages are like a salmon color, almost a peach color. And every page at the bottom, it says Versace. So this is super cute. You can use it as a journal or a planner. Even though it's not like grid or graph, you can still use it as like a bullet journal or a planner. The next items up are the Valentino notebooks. It's Pantone Pink PP by Valentino. This came out in October and I think it's for Breast Cancer Month. So the first page and then the rest of the pages are all blank white pages. This does have a strap so you can you can use this, use this as a planner slash notebook if you want. But if you can write in a notebook without lines, you're special because that seems impossible. And I have the smaller one, but I gave it to Lonnie. It's identical except the size is just like a, a pocket size. Lastly, we have the trifold notebook thingy. I don't know what it's called, but it's still a notebook and it's upside down. So this is like a, it's like a metal ruler. I've tried to, to remove it, but you can't. So it's there. And this to me is like a sketch drawing pad. It has a pocket flap here. It has the Valentino notebook. You can take it out and use the cover if you want. You know, you can be creative and kind of customize these things to fit however you need them to fit into your life. And the pages are an off-white color, but they're more of the paper that you'll see in like a drawing pad. And it has a sharpened pencil. The pencil does, I think that's an eraser, but not sure you hear that i did let him out and now he's scratching to come back in but anyway Oof. so those are the things that i got recently i don't want to put too much in this video and overwhelm you i will link the notebooks hopefully they're still available i did share them on my instagram when i first got them but for now that's everything i do plan on making a video that shows a comparison of notebooks for possible planners, planner option for 2022, 2023. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.